Hi guys, my name is Zin and uh, this is Maybe Bonsai. Um, this week it has been pretty warm, so I brought a lot of trees outside. I'll show you that right now. So I have all these, uh, the uh, lavender. So yeah, this, I guess it died because of the crack that I had before. And then I have uh, Alberta spruce. There's a couple of larches and uh, I think they're all larches. Maybe that's a spruce. Um, but yeah, right now the temperature is about Every day is around, I don't know, say 0 to 10-ish, around in there somewhere. So it's okay to bring them out. And then I also brought out some of the other stuff. Um, what are these? This is a juniper, a white pine, and then uh, that's a larch as well. Uh, mogul pine here. That's the... Uh, uh, dwarf, the, yeah, burning bush, that's what it is. And then just just you know some other stuff here is the uh the willow downy willow i think and then that's a field maple um however the weather will get cold again um so this weekend i think early next week it's going to go down to minus eight minus nine at night for a couple of days and then i think it'll go back up which means that you have to bring the trees in again um which i will do it's really uh it, it kind of sucks for me because I I don't really like to rotate them around. It's just it's too, it's too much work. <laughs> um, but I know a lot of people that does put, uh, take them out and put them back in. It's you have to be careful around this time of the year because the temperature varies so much that you know a cold night could kill off a tree, uh, especially if you have the trees indoors uh, in the garage over the winter. Because if they're in the garage, they're usually above zero, and the trees are not. Even the hardy trees, if you put, if you keep it in a in a uh, environment that's above zero all the time, and then all of a sudden you take it outside for like a minus ten or whatever, it could kill the tree. Even though it's a hardy tree, it's just it's not used to that, and it'll get it'll get killed. So you gotta bring them in and take them out. You know, you know, if you're doing that dance. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's what I have outside, but I will bring them in, uh, them in uh, in the early next week. So yeah, we'll take it inside and uh, we'll take a look at the other stuff. Okay guys, so we're back upstairs now. Um, I'm going to work on this hibiscus today. It's a uh, supposedly a Snow Queen hibiscus, I believe, because there's the uh, white and a, a little bit of other pink, pinkish color on the leaves. Um, I, I've got two pots here because I was trying to prop it up so that it's, uh, you can get more of the sun from the window. And I discovered that the uh, roots has kind of grown into the pot below a little bit. Um, so I just, I'm just going to leave it like that and let it do its thing. So the plan for this tree is that I, I wanted to kind of do a cascade before, um, but the angle that I planted it, it wasn't really the best angle. So now it's turning into more like a wrap style. And to be perfectly honest, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing with this tree. I, I don't know uh, what direction that I'm going to go with it. It, it really can go either way. Um, so. For now, I'm just gonna grow it and uh, you know let it, let it develop more branches and see what's best later on. Um, it's always better, I think, to grow a tree, you know, when you know what you want in the end. Uh, but maybe I don't know, maybe a lack of vision or something. I just I'm not sure. Like I'm okay with either way, whether it's wrap style or uh, cascade or semi cascade. I'm just you know not 100 sure which one I want the most. Um, so as you can see, this uh, this is kind of overgrown now. It's taking but taking up a bit of space. <laughs> it's a small pot, and you know the leaves are quite large. So I'm gonna take it back just so that it's one there's uh, takes take, takes up less room, and uh, you know it can use the pruning. I think um, this was repotted in the last video about it like, like a while ago in the summer sometime I think. So it's, it's been growing for a while. It has a, uh, I haven't had any issues with this uh, as far as insects are concerned, uh, which is good because I have had kind of, kind of an insect problem this year with uh, scale. You know, I get these flying bugs, not, not that many, just like one or two, you know, every couple of days. I try to kill them, but I don't know what it is, but eventually, you know, I saw some other uh, insects on my other hibiscus and uh, I have to clean those with, you know, solutions. Um, yeah, just a lot of problems indoors, which I didn't have last year. 
and uh, I was lucky that this one doesn't have any insects and usually hibiscus are quite attracted uh, attracted to insects but this one looks fairly very clean actually nothing at all um, so this it's planted the trunk is like on an angle at the bottom here so you know so it's kind of a flat tree uh, if I wanted this to go cascade I would I should have probably kind of turned it so that it's not flat on the uh, soil so it's more hanging on the side um, but anyway that's in, that's the uh, intro to the tree so I'll, I'll start pruning okay so it's uh, it's kind of hard to to see where you want to start see the trunk is there actually it's a, it's you know kind of flat there's a branch kind of the leader but not really going over this over this way if I just hanged it over on the other side of the pot it would have been a cascade easily but now it's like kind of kind of flat and straight out might have to wire that down the road um, this is all long branches so I think what I'm going to look to do is to reduce them back quite a bit so that uh, they can develop a new branch from near uh, you know my cut point um, yeah just to get some taper even though the, the branches are quite thin but you know I want to take it back as much as I can make it smaller more compact and uh, you know it's almost springtime so I think it's a good time to prune this and once spring comes it will just uh, you know start growing again quite uh, probably quite fast I would say um, so because this is so big I'm just gonna take it back liberally right now just you know I think at least this one I'm gonna take all the way back to this leaf I think this leaf is a good one because it's facing towards the outside and I don't think I want to go any lower at this point although I could because there's leaf scars in that spot there's, there's one scar over here which I could go with which is pointing to the same direction as the leaf except there's no leaf there but I think this leaf will do um, so let's do that I'll take this whole, whole thing off here So we'll turn this around. It's quite a bit to sift through, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of reduce it back a little bit for now, just so I can see better. Uh, this big branch, I'll take it back there for now, just reducing the size a bit. This one, another main branch. So this one, there's a leaf coming out over here, which is pointing upwards. And it, it could be a good direction because then the tree will go up from there. Um, but I'm thinking this tree is going to be more flat, either a cascade or wrapped. Uh, so I think, well, I mean, this is a branch coming from the bottom here. Um, so going up might not be a bad idea at this point I could either go up or I could choose one of the side shoots here and let it fan out and I'm, I'm not honestly not 100% sure which one is the best way to go at this at this time so let me trim the most of these off because I know that'll come off either way. This this direction is not good because it's coming into the tree, so I'm gonna take that back even more for now. I'll come back to that and then decide later because I, I don't really know if I, you know, which direction I want to go with that part. So this branch coming off the trunk. Uh, I think I'll take it back to this leaf here and this leaf here is pointing outwards uh, but it's quite tight here as it's one just above it there it goes make a cleaner cut 
Yeah, it's a bit crowded. There's a lot of branches. And then the leaves are so big, so it's, it's very easy for this to, uh, for the leaves to cover up the bottom part of the tree. And then this branch here, that there, it's going up, which is fine. I think I'm going to take it to this leaf, which is fanning outwards. There those goes. And then I have the bottom one. So this bottom one, it could be a leader going downwards, which I think I want it, I want it to go downwards. Um, but obviously I have to kind of lean it over to this way. Uh, this was just repotted, you know, less than a year. I, I don't really want to repot it again. But at the same time, uh, if I want this to be in a cascade, I kind of have to, you know, position it in a, in a cascade, you know, position. So it's, it's a tough choice. I think, I guess I'll leave it, I'll let it grow over the summer. You know what, I won't, I won't repot it again, it's too soon. I'll let it grow over the summer and uh, maybe repot it when I bring it inside from, from, the, from, uh, from outside in the fall. That might be a better way to go and then I could fix the uh, position of the tree and I'll make a decision on whether I want cascade or, or raft. Um, but for now, I do need to take something off this leader, the bottom leader as well. But I'm not going to take off that much, just a tip here I think. Actually no, I'll take it back to this leaf here. Because this leaf is pointing kind of downwards which is a good direction, I think. Uh, if I want the cascade, it'll just keep going in that direction. So I'll take the top leaves off, if I can just get in there. So now this is the, the most front leaf, I guess. So it, hopefully a branch will uh, develop from there. So now looking at this, this branch here, which I cut before, I think I could go more on it. I could take off more. I'll probably take this branch. Just to make it smaller. I could even take this branch, actually. I'll take that branch instead. That's also, actually, wait, no. No, this one is actually, because this, the origin of the branch is coming from the bottom. So if I take that one, it will kind of grow back to the main branch uh, direction. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, but you know what? There is a... There is that green dot, which I'm pretty sure is not a bug. It's not. And I think I want to develop that instead. Um, that might be, even though there's no leaves there, but I think that that's good enough to cut back and uh, wait for it to grow. So we'll do that. So hopefully it's going to grow. Not sure if you can see that green, but it's right there. The little green dot. So I think mostly the tree is okay. Uh, this is a branch that I haven't touched. But I, I do want to prune every single branch when I prune it because if I don't, I know the branch that I haven't pruned is going to be more vigorous. So there's a leaf towards that side, there's a leaf towards this side. This one is the higher up one by a little bit, so I'm going to take it up just before that. Hopefully I can get the branch going this direction. And lastly we have this, another downward branch which kind of starts over here at the bottom of the tree. Um, I don't know if I should keep that because it's kind of an awkward position. And it's really close to the, uh, the root base of the tree. I don't know what I could do with that. If I even, even in the cascade, this would kind of probably hang right at the lip of the pot. I think it's just, uh, 
I don't know, it's an awkward spot. So I think I'm going to remove that completely. Uh, yeah. Hmm. See, it's right there. That's the base of it. And then it goes over to this side. It goes over here. So I'm going to take, take that off just completely. There it goes. Okay, I can't really get there that easily. So that leaves this branch on pruned. It's a small branch. And there's a leaf scar on the top, which is good. I'll do that. Hopefully it grows. If it doesn't, it's not a big deal. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it will. And then for this one, I'll take this leaf, this leaf here coming towards us. Get rid of the top. Even this, I could take it back more if I wanted to. Because there's the leaf scars, you know. Um, but uh, I think I'll leave it for now. This, this is good. There is some cleanup work to do here. This is a dead branch. And there's actually buds over there. There's a green bud coming out right there. We'll see if I can go closer. So it'll be hard to see, I think, but it's, it's right there. There's a green coming out right, right over there. I don't know if that's gonna develop or not, but I'm gonna try to kind of take this, take that off. But yeah, I gotta fix this. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to do yet. I could actually just take this whole thing. If I do, if I do cascade, I could take this whole, this whole thing off. This, you know, even even that, I can take that off, and I just take that as a leader, and it will go down. So, but uh, I'm not sure if I would do that right now. So I'll just leave it. I think it's okay in its current stage. So that's what the tree looks like after it's after I'm done my pruning. It's much smaller now. I can you know put it where it was uh, much easier because there's not that much things on it. You know what? I'm going to take this back a bit more. I'm going to take this back to this leaf. All right, so I think that's how I'm gonna do it for the tree. Um, it's, you know, all pruned up. Uh, the amount of leaves I took took off, it was this much. It was just about maybe 60% of the foliage. Um, I think it'll be fine. You know, the uh, the temperature indoors is quite stable, so there's no variations that much. There's actually a branch on the inside. I wanna take that off, actually. I just see it now. It's growing towards inside the tree. I, I don't think it's going anywhere. Just to make it cleaner. Um, so that's it for now. And uh, that's all for this week. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. And, you know, remember right now the temperature is very unstable. So be careful with your trees if you put it outside. Um, the outdoor video was actually yesterday. So today, actually last night, you know, I, I checked the uh, forecast. It was going down to minus 9 today. And I had to move everything inside yesterday at like midnight because I forgot to check the temperature. So yeah, you got to be careful right now. It's just around March, April, where the temperature goes up and down like crazy. And, uh, you know, in a few days, the temperature will go back up and I think I'll have to bring the trees back out again. <laughs> so yeah, so that, that's it for this week. Um, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.